pickup truck towing a trailer, carrying four-wheelers, two red, one yellow. Take a good look at it because state police need your help in finding it. Through the investigation, through witnesses' statements, it does definitely feel like that they were part of the reason that that Saab convertible did crash that day. That Saab came to rest here on Route 16, broken and battered after slamming into another car, then a guardrail, and eventually crossing back through three lanes of traffic and into an embankment. Police say this all happened after witnesses Sunday afternoon saw the Saab and a Chevy pickup, as they put it, antagonizing each other, switching lanes and cutting each other off. Witnesses told police the truck appeared to be the aggressor. A lot of the witnesses are saying it's consistently blowing smoke uh, black diesel smoke out, and uh, one time it did it right in front of that Saab in the right-hand lane. Witnesses told troopers that's when the Saab loses control and crashes, but the pickup truck never stops. One witness did say they, saw, they thought he pumped his brakes and then continued on. Heading down exit 12, and that's where troopers got lucky, finding surveillance video of a truck that met the description, driving by a gas station just moments later, a tan Chevy truck pulling a trailer. Another distinct feature about it is it has a push bumper on the front that it's a rather large one that doesn't just cover the uh, the license plate. I mean, it'll cover the, it goes out to the headlights. Police say the driver of the truck didn't physically hit anyone, but they say they can't imagine that person didn't know what happened. So far, they aren't pursuing charges, but say a conversation is in order. State police say that another thing that witnesses noticed was that the trailer did have a New Hampshire plate. They say if you have any information, please give them a call. Reporting in Rochester, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.